Rest in peace, Big L. One of the that dopest. The One of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay Z on. Without question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay Z. You will pay. I got you. You f know it. In this case, we have allegations that there was videoing or filming. Uh, so they're going to be looking for uh, videos. Uh, that might be one heck of a job. Okay, so people have been linking P. Diddy's impending arrest with Jay-Z a lot these days, and Jang allegedly believes that this is more than possible. You see, Jay-Z and Diddy have really been close up until this whole lawsuit situation came crashing down. Let's not forget that allegedly Diddy has started singing to the cops about Jay-Z's apparent crimes, and details have been coming out non-stop. Let's jump right into this mess, as this has been blowing up lately. After federal agents raided the rapper's multi-million dollar homes in Miami and Los Angeles, sources revealed that certain items were found at both properties. Homeland Security investigation seized Combs' phones in Miami before he was scheduled to depart for a trip to the Bahamas. While the investigation is ongoing, HSI explained that the raid was connected to allegations of STNSA and the solicitation and distribution of illegal items. Not to mention three women and one man had been interviewed by federal agents in Manhattan in relation to the investigation. So yeah, things are rather hectic, but in the aftermath of the situation, people have been dragging Jay-Z into this. We all know that Jay-Z has been pretty tight with Diddy since the beginning of their days, and now that Diddy is in hot water, Jay-Z has made himself scarce. You might remember that Sean Combs even admitted at a time that he and Jay-Z were close, so close that allegedly they were brothers from another mother. Who is Sean approved from the world of entertainment? There's only one person. Oh, go on. And I call him Sean. That's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean single, approved. There's not a single person that, that outside should Outside of family. That should be, no, outside of my mother. Jaguar has repeatedly claimed that if Diddy went under, Jay-Z would not be spared. You see, Jay-Z and Diddy were involved in the crime scene from the same time they started making music. For those who don't know, their friendship traces back to the 1990s, when both artists made their mark in the music industry. Despite the competitive nature of hip-hop, P. Diddy and Jay-Z found common ground in their shared ambition and passion for music. In 1997, the pair collaborated on a track landed on No Way Out, Diddy's debut studio album. The following year, Jay-Z provided a verse for Diddy's sophomore project. Around that time, both of their careers were subject to controversy. The rappers were involved in legal turmoil in 1999, and they were facing the same amount of time in jail. According to the New York Post, Jay was facing charges for stabbing Lance on Rivera. Meanwhile, Diddy was on the hook for his involvement in the infamous club shooting, which saw him flee the scene of a Times Square hotspot alongside Jennifer Lopez. Both men avoided jail time, and their friendship continued to grow. As you can imagine, it might not be farther from the truth that Diddy and Jay-Z might have a pact or something that, if revealed, would jeopardize their careers. Now, this wasn't the only time that allegedly they collaborated with each other to hide each other's crimes. You see, while Keefe D was being charged on account of Tupac Shakur's death, Jag revealed that Jay-Z also played his part in keeping things under wraps. She alleged that if Keefe's statement about Diddy giving him money were proved true, things could turn out very bad for the duo. I think the Keefe D trial has the potential to force Sean Combs to finally be honest about some things that he hasn't been honest about, which could create great leverage for knocking that big lip camel face Now, that's not all. Jaguar revealed that the first time she ever saw Jay-Z in the music scene was when he was introduced by a rapper named Big L. She explained that Big L and she were lovers, but no one knew about it because they wanted to keep things under wraps. It was so secret that Jay-Z allegedly didn't know. Jaguar claimed that Big L was the embodiment of lyrical prowess in the chronicles of hip-hop history. His artistry shone brightest during the 90s, the golden era of East Coast rap, characterized by intricate and complex wordplay. And this isn't just lip service. L actually did get the title of the favorite rapper of your favorite rapper. Well, tragically, Big L passed due to unfortunate circumstances, but Jag believed that Jane was behind it all along. Rest in peace, Big L. 
that dopest. was the sensei. One of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay Z on. Without question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay Z. Jagger also has come forward with the claim that when Jay Z was working on his album Reasonable Doubt, Big L was also allegedly working on something. But since L died before he even put anything on as a result, Jay Z's album was a hit. To prove her point, Jaguar even dared Jay to drag her to court for defamation of character so that she would be able to say these to his face. Alright, so get this. Recently, a well known journalist took to Twitter claiming that she had been allegedly in contact with Jay Z's mistress before she passed away. The word has it that Queen Bey and the alleged affair partner were pregnant at the same time and Bay couldn't handle the jealousy at all. Liz Crokin opened a can of worms when she posted the alleged truth about Kathy White's demise. According to her, she came to know Kathy when her boss asked her to look into her blog reports, claiming that a woman named Kathy Coriana White was having an affair with Jay-Z. The blog that reportedly first broke the affair story was published by Hollywood Street King in an article titled Busted Jay-Z Caught Cheating on Beyonce with Kathy White back in August of 2010. She explained that she managed to get a hold of Kathy at her job in New York over the phone. She said, Kathy expressed to me that she would consider going public with her story. Days later, I tried to reach her at work with no luck. I finally got a hold of one of her colleagues and I asked her if she knew why Kathy had been MIA. Her colleague shockingly told me, she's dead. Previous reports claim that the cause of demise was an aneurysm in the brain. It was pretty suspicious as the rumors of an affair were sparked after Kathy and model Claudia Jordan were allegedly spotted at Las Vegas Town nightclub, sitting at a table with Jay-Z and Puffy. Claudia Jordan and Kathy White are two industry it girls around that time, so you could see the levels that she was on to be taking pictures of somebody like this in the early 2000s. However, there have been reports that Diddy might have helped Jay-Z in covering up in this case, because deeper investigation reveals that the autopsy report was manipulated, even though nothing had ever been proven. Not to mention, Jaguar has also claimed that Jay-Z has been keeping Beyonce under the influence of substances to keep her under his thumb. Now, this might be a shock to most of you, as the Carters have been the most ideal couple for years, although he did admit to cheating on her. Anyway, one of Jay-Z's affair partners is indeed alive and well to tell her story. You see, back in 2001, Jay-Z launched The Takeover as part of his Blueprint campaign. The opening song to the acclaimed album put a reportedly long-standing tension with Nas out in the open. Without naming names, Jay-Z also rapped, Because you know who did you know what with you know who, but just keep that between me and you. While referencing a previous Ja Rule chorus, Jay alluded that he had been romantic with a key woman in Nas's life. The woman was actually the mother of Nas's daughter. Carmen revealed that the couple had broken up, but they were still active in their daughter's life. In an interview with Vlad TV, she said, I feel like he needed me to be there in lieu of this battle, in lieu of his beef. It was like, well, I still got the girl and she's over here with me. I'm about to drop this song and dead everything. That was the plan, and it worked. To make matters worse, Jag even alleged that Jay-Z and Diddy started to work with each other after Jay had eliminated Big L. She explained that things just started to become weirder when Jay-Z started mingling with R. Kelly. Fans believe that Jag has been working with Jay for years, so she's speaking the truth about his endeavors. I love Jaguar because she's all about the truth. No one has ever sued her for defamation, and defamation is the most common form of lawsuits made by entertainers. The thing I hate is when people like Jaguar and Kanye speak the truth, all of a sudden they're crazy. That's it for today. See you in the next one. Goodbye.